I would like to thank you. I would also like to thank the Stonewall National Museum and Archives for this recognition uh, and for the important work that we have done as an organization. Zandra, I want to take a moment to thank you. To thank you for your leadership and your LGBTQ rights activism. I want you to know that you're Alexander, that your impactful advocacy is truly changing the world. Um, and it's an honor to share the stage with you tonight. As an eight year old Nigerian girl, I knew I was different. I knew I was a lesbian before I even knew the world. And I carried and began a journey of shame. I carried a burden of shame. All the way into medical school. I graduated from medical school. I was deep in the closet still. And finally I left the country of my birth, Nigeria, because I knew that I would never be able to be me. I moved to the United Kingdom, continued my postgraduate training, and eventually I came out of the closet at the age of 29. Essentially, I focused on building my career. I had left everything familiar behind in the country of my birth, Nigeria. I left my mother behind, who was ill, and getting more ill. I would occasionally travel back to Nigeria incognito. I was afraid of my own country. Um, I found it hostile and threatening. And I remember in 2013 when I became an American citizen, I wept because for the first time I felt safe. And then in 2017, I met Moji. My wife, also Nigerian, who had been in the United States since she was 15 for the same reason. She had been sent here by her father because he was afraid for her. He realized she was dead. We met by chance in New York and we got married and we became criminals. We became criminals in the country and I've heard Robert who spoke about this today. If we go back to Nigeria, we will be put in jail for 14 years. Um, and depending on where we are, we might actually be burned to death in the streets. This happens to young LGBTQ people often in Nigeria. We are at risk of that. When my mother became terminally ill in 2020, she called Moji and I from her deathbed and warned us not to come to Nigeria. In her words, some people here will hurt you. My mother died. We were not able to go to her funeral. And both you, my wife, and I remain grateful because you see, America has become our home. I share my personal story, our personal story this evening because the work that you do at Stonewall National Museum and Archives is inspirational and it's transformational. Your work reaches across the world, beyond the United States as a signal, as a beacon of hope and courage for LGBTQ people like me and others. On a professional note, your work inspires me and inspires us and we might come through. It is important to us that members of the LGBTQIA community have access to high quality, affordable, equitable care, just yeah. like anyone else. Yeah. We work to do this every day. It is important to us that members of the LGBTQIA community feel safe within the healthcare system. It is important to us that we mitigate health inequities and health disparities. That is what we do every day. 
I share my story because the work that you do at Stonewall National Museum and Archives makes us visible, people like me and other members of the LGBTQIA community. Representation and visibility are important. Thank you for helping LGBTQIA patients and LGBTQIA providers and clinicians be seen, be visible. Last year at the United Health Movement, last year at the United Health Group, we committed to $100 million over the next 10 years to increase the diversity of the workforce because it's important to us. We are committed to driving that thing. Those who know me know that I'm not one to seek the limelight, but this is important. I know what it means for that young person to look ahead and see me and believe that it, that it is possible for them to become the best versions of themselves. Thank you at Stonewall for helping us all to be seen. I want to say a special thank you to my colleagues at United Health Group who sit here before me. Your allyship is a powerful force for change and is especially meaningful to me. I and many other members of the LGBTQIA community across United Health Group are grateful to work with an organization that is truly committed to driving change. I want to thank you United Health Group and all of you at this table for being who you are and for supporting us. I want to thank you for driving authenticity, inclusion, and empowering LGBTQIA people within our United Health Group family. And finally, to my wife, Moji Sola Wilson, my heart and my soulmate, I say a simple thank you for traveling life with me. May our love always endure. Once again, Mr. President, Robert, I want to thank you. I want to thank Stonewall National Museum and Archives for celebrating, for honoring, for protecting LGBTQIA plus history in its true, complete, and full authenticity. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you.